And we're back with the K1 World Grand Prix 2020 Japan at the Ryogoku Kokugi Khan. This is what we have all been waiting for, the K1 lightweight title match. In the red corner, Kenta Hayashi taking on, in the blue, Honopa, Mila Sakurek. I'm Brian. And I'm Ross. Let's break this down. So Hayashi being the younger man at 26 by two years, and the taller guy by five centimeters at 172. Yes, this match here is close to my heart. Uh, I love the guys at Willis Sakurek. I do a lot of training with them in the corner. You can see the Kaicho Wampasser, the Sensei Uu. I did a lot of training with Gonopa, and a lot of boxing with him to get ready for this one. He is, you know, had a, had a tough go, and he's, had a, you know, he's shot for the belt a lot in his career. And, and this is a huge opportunity for him. He's very upfront, very tough, isn't he? Very yep, he's you know, obviously from Thailand, uh, Muay Thai based, but he's taken his Muay Thai style and he's really evolved it uh, around his skill set, added some really devastating punches to his skill set, but his best weapon is still is and will always be that left kick. This time is beautiful left strike. Hayashi is in both forward, doubling the impact. Of course, this fight was meant to happen back in uh, September, but Hayashi got uh, injured during training. Was it a couple of weeks? Yes, yes, that's what it sounds like. Well, and these guys have met before, and Gonapa um, scoring, I believe, a first round KO in their last meetup. So for Hayashi here, this is a bit of a chance for revenge. Oh, three people revenge, isn't it? Which one's it going to be? Yes. Well, and, uh, you know, both these guys, Hayashi is so good, Gonapa is so tough. Gunnar knew is like his best attributes are his physical strength and his will and determination. He trains so hard for these matches, so grueling. So the part of actually getting in the ring and doing it is probably the easiest part. He looks so well conditioned. It's, it's obviously paid off that really, really good look. Mm. You see the way he chops the low kick. It's full commitment in that mid kick, and he just smashes up Hayashi's arms. Lots of power, lots of power. Hayashi's taking it very well here. And, you know, Hayashi's done some good work with his uh, shot variety upstairs, downstairs, there it is again. Yes. You can see the redness already there on Hayashi's uh, right arm. The corner paw's going to have to watch out for is, yeah, the hands of Hayashi. Once he gets into that mid range, Gunnapa can't use tie weapons like elbows or clinch. So it's going to be Hayashi um, having the advantage there with his punches. Ooh. Ooh. Sticking the left again, the left straight landing real clean. Just snapping Hayashi's head back there. Hayashi took it well, but it didn't look good. The judge is going to catch that. So he's going to feel like he needs to try and probably go to attack here and get some success of his own. And Gunnapa not going to do anything flashy, just good straight, good straight body shots and then powerful low kicks. What's the beauty with these tie fighters is you don't have to be fancy. The basics, when they're just amazingly well done, do the trick. Absolutely. The fundamentals are enough if they're functional and well oiled. Yeah, and they do such a good job fighting off the ropes, yeah. too. They'll do tricky things like kick out the inside leg and Hayashi puts weight to throw the punch. He's just going to have to be careful um, that you know Hayashi doesn't follow up with a few more punches after that and uh, catch him on the chin. I like the way he actually just controlling the range and he's, uh, he, he's pushing the pace. Yeah. And uh, really from the center of the ring, he was uh, he looked quite comfortable. Yep, he was doing really well, moving going up a little bit here and there. You know, it kind of stands out three or four of those left straights landed real clean from going up and they snap Hayashi's head back and that's what the judges will see. Well, it's gonna be a tough round to call for the judges, but they are. Very picturesque, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, real close round. I actually doing some good job with the body work. Just a few left straights. And then Eaton also that left kick off the guard. He's either got to come back with punches right away or block that thing. Yeah. Just recommend not being there because it's so heavy. <laughs> yeah, I'd say use some range because that is reddening up already. Yeah. And it's, uh, well, Sooner or later, you're going to prefer taking it to the head than the shoulder, I think. Yes, yes. Well, your arm just gets numb, it's heavy, and it doesn't react as fast as you'd like it to. And it hurts. Okay, here we go, Ooh. round two. Let's see how the tempo shifts if it does it all. Well, they've both established the range and the power they want to use. What about coming out pretty strong here in the beginning? I'm rubbing the... Uh, 
the movement from Hayashi and the way he's revolving away from the powerful side um, and using strength to, to very good success. But that high guard of Gonopar is seriously strong. Mm. Yeah, no, Hay Hayashi, because of the high guard, would be well served to go to the body. Yeah. And, just be, and just be careful, you know, this is the, the give and take. He does go down to the body, that creates opportunities for kicks and knees from Gonopar. So it's kind of a, you know, they both are having to gamble here and, and pick their moments. Gonopar is very happy for Hayashi to maneuver him against the ropes. He's, he's not at all you know, afraid to be there. He's all composed to work from those angles. Uh, good body work there from Hayashi. And, uh, the punches to the body being answered you know, with kicks. Nice yeah, kicks there and some upper uppercuts. He's trying a lot of variety, Hayashi. A lot yeah. of variety. It's good to see. It's going to pass, sticking with his fundamentals, doing a very good job, and now coming forward himself. Oh, yep. And the big clean body shot there, too. And now she's doing the body work. Both these guys, I mean, they're just in the trenches. They're just a workman-like pace, and really it is. It is just work at this point to try to you know, build up damage on your opponent. Absolutely. There is a beautiful left to the body, and there it is again. And the ash is using to try and attack that liver of Gonopar. Oh, and left him in there straight through. Wow. Yeah, these guys, every shot with bad intentions. And to keep the output like this for three rounds is so tough to do. Well, you know, from Hayashi's point of view, you know, he was knocked out round one three years ago. So to have the confidence to stand there and do this really says something. Yeah, the slippy, uh, the sneaky inside leg kick there. And Hayashi will lose his balance. Oh, and the heavy knee underneath. The Thai guys, too, are just great about keeping their posture upright. In some ways, it leaves you open, but it, it also makes it easier to kick. There's a trade-off there. Yes. It depends if you can uh, impose your style or not. Exactly. And to be honest with you, John Apollo looks like he's doing a much better job of that in the second round. Yeah, a well, good front kick there. Ah, he's just, just feeding the shots through. Hayashi was doing a great job with the body work earlier, but I think the pressure is getting to him just a little bit. Probably feeling the kicks on the arm there. Those fundamentals and just, just chipping away the accumulation. You can just feel Hayashi's feeling it. Yeah, whoa. coming to the end of the second round here. Some good work there for Gonapa. These guys are just neck and neck, though. This thing is so close. Yeah, no, I wouldn't want to be in the judges' seats right now. Oh. I mean, I often think that is the worst job of yes. the night. I think it's job, yeah. yeah. I might prefer being a ring girl, if I'm going to be honest, than a judge. <laughs> uh, I don't think anyone else would prefer the sight. <laughs> well, I guess it. it depends on what sort of elegant gown you're wearing, Ross. <laughs> There's no gowns in my world. There's no <laughs> gowns. Not oh. in my wardrobe. Well, um... But yeah, I mean, this is going to be a hard one for the judges to tell apart. Um, yeah, it's going to really come down to um, you know some breakaway action here in the third round. Hopefully, one of these guys can kind of separate um, their their work rate, their power, the shots they're landing, and, and a little breakaway. Absolutely. I think both are more than aware that it's coming down to this last round. Yes, this is it. I think Hayashi made a good argument in the first one. I think Gonapar made good for the second. So here we are. This is it. You know, and we're going to have to see who just lands those good, clean shots. Those are, those are what stand out to the judges. Mm, Gonopar's off to a good start here. Started out with a very good kick, and he timed Hayashi with a nice punch, and he's just, he's there to be reckoned with. Yep. Oh, wow, chopping that. Oh, man, those kicks down there on the calf of the inside leg do not feel good. Mm, and it's a yeah, heavy that. weapon. You just hear that. Just vibrates through the entire arena. Oh, look at the redness on the arm. You can see the arm is just not reacting the same. He's carrying it a little bit funny. It just swollen and red. Oh, you can you can almost see it sometimes that he wants to throw it and then he realizes not to it's not gonna make it make its mark. Yeah. He's just gonna open it up. It looks like good clean punches landing on the guard. Um, they don't score as well as the clean shots, but they do so much damage and there's no padding on the shin. That thing just bites in the flesh and the tricep and bicep and the deltoid. Ooh, I actually with some good motion, uh, good hand work there. Very good inside good low. 
You know, I love his shot variety, and I love the fact that despite he was knocked out three years ago, he's happy to hang at these ranges. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's got to. You know, I don't think trying to time going up off the back foot would really serve him well here. Wow, that left kick landed again. Mm. Oh, he's getting a bit sloppy here, a little bit open. He's got to get his composure and his tightness back. Yeah, uh, there we go, the chopping. chopping. Yeah, the arm, the arm is just getting uh, torn up by that left kick. He's still trying to throw those body shots. Yeah, body and body at shots and uppercuts. I'm loving them, the variation of the shots. I'm absolutely enjoying them. The Donna Pa, you know, just seems impervious to him. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like, you know, Donna Pa lands the baseball bat or the sledgehammer, and then, uh, you know, Hayashi uses the ball peen hammer a few times there. They're just playing with different weapons here, but they're both devastating in their own way. Oh, smooth move. Ooh. Ooh, Ooh, that kick rocked him. Wow, that's big. That could be it. That could be what Ooh. switches the judges. Wow, what a nice shot. And you see how he set it up with the sweep? Yeah. That beautiful technique there. Absolutely. That beautiful. is highlight real stuff. All right, here we go. Whoa. He actually's going through the pressure now. Yeah, he's tough as nails, no doubt. He's doing good work to the body. Going apart, keeping some distance with the front kick. The last 30 seconds here in this title match. Both guys want it so bad. So bad. Look at it. They're going for broke. They're going Ooh. for broke. This is it. Everything they can to catch the judges. And this is it. The last 20 seconds. That's when you do it the most. That's when oh they last gosh. see. You've got, yep, you've got it. You've got 20 seconds in your gas tank. You've got enough to burst for 20 seconds. Ooh, look wow. over the left Little, there. Yeah, he was unstable, but he's still game. Push. Oh, and another kick. All right, he's trying to pose. seal the deal. He's just coming forward. Ooh, wow. Oh, oh what a fight. What a Man. fight. They were toe-to-toe, head-to-head -to -head for three rounds. That was awesome. Brilliant fight, brilliant fight. The fans cannot be disappointed with that. Everyone's got their money's worth. Man, no doubt that was super close. That head kick at the end was definitely a clean hit and impactful and set up so beautifully. That could be a real deciding factor here. We'll have to see what the judges say. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Well, and I just know Gonapa worked so hard to get here. No doubt Hayashi did as well. It's just so good to see these guys both have such an awesome performance because really we and the fans are the ones that win here. Absolutely, 100%. And look at them both in high spirits. They both feel like they've done enough. Let's see what the judges think. <laughs> Judge Nishimura, 29-29-29-Doro. Judge Mizutani, 30-29-29-Aokonopo. Judge Okada, 30-28-28. 30 Oh, wow. Look, look at the, the excitement. It goes straight to his knees. You can see, and these guys, man, these Thai guys are generally so stoic. This is a huge display of emotion. Wow. What, what an experience. Ah, my gosh. Well, and Hayashi has got nothing to feel bad about. That was just an awesome fight. Absolutely. Hayashi still got a smile on his face. I'm sure he feels like he... He deserved the win and nicked it, but, um, but to be honest with you, you can't be disappointed with that. Oh, we don't have showmanship here, man. I can just, yeah, you know, a little background story here. Donapa, you know, hasn't been able to go home for a while. He's got a young daughter back in Thailand. Oh, and he's really? such a good dad. He loves his daughter. And I know that all he wants to do is go see her. And so it's great for him to be able to take home the gold that he's worked so hard for. He's been so close in the past, but he hasn't quite gotten it. Um, I mean, he's got, you know, 140 some fights on his record. Uh, he's been doing this a long time. Like, this is just the pinnacle for him here. What an awesome moment. Fantastic. Oh, man, man. Like, so stoic. So that level of emotion just shows how much he means. Well, and to have the crush title and now the K1 title, Especially under a rule set, you know, that the, the Muay, Muay Thai is just a different rhythm, like it's just different. So he has just done such an awesome job. He's adapted his style. Um, yeah, this has to be for him an amazing experience. And I can imagine the first thing he wants to do, you know, after maybe icing his wounds, 
eat some food is uh, go take that belt home to his little one. Well, uh, belt. I mean, he stood there and told himself for three rounds straight. He took the best and gave the best. And, uh, yeah. and just a yeah, razor thin man, like so close. A good fight against a good tough opponent. Yeah, sometimes the ball just rolls and your work and goes your way. I do see a third fight somewhere on the horizon. Yes. No, that would be a great trilogy. When you see people prep for these sorts of fights too, it's, it's such a team effort um, to, to push the fighter, to prep them, to get them ready. You know, you, you, you step up in the ring alone, but really you've got your whole team behind you. And uh, that applies to everybody, but especially these, these guys, you know, they're kickboxing. You know, it's the national sport of Thailand. They've been doing it for thousands of years, obviously, in Muay Thai, but... Uh, it mean, means a lot to them to be able to go uh, to, to showcase their skills. Oh, 100%, 100%. And, you know, like you said, he trained so hard and you, know, you were a part of that training. And all of you together so proud of you. <laughs> ทำสำเร็จอย่างที่ฝันไว้ครับผมก็รู้สึกดีใจมากครับแล้วก็ขอบคุณทีมงานวิลาศักดิ์เล็กมวยไทยยิมทุกคนครับแล้วก็ที่